Welcome to Sienna Chalk Talk. Hello, I'm Darwin Evans from Sienna. Today we'll be talking about the parts of the internet that we use every day that certainly don't receive the fanfare they surely deserve. Most people still believe that satellites carry internet traffic between the world's continental land masses, but this isn't actually the case. Submarine cable networks carry over 99% of all intercontinental digital communications, and it is growing at a compound annual growth rate of around 40% in all the undersea corridors of the world. These submerged engineering marvels are responsible for over $10 trillion of transactions every single day. It's because of these two overwhelming facts that submarine cables are now considered critical infrastructure for consumers, corporations, and governments the world over. They're the unseen backbone of the internet that we all depend on daily, for both personal and business purposes. Simply put, without submarine networks, the internet we've all come to know, love, and need simply wouldn't exist. So what exactly are submarine networks? These engineering marvels are comprised of submerged cables, repeaters, and branching units that snake across the seabed of the world to interconnect continental land masses, often over many thousands of kilometers. Without them, we'd have a bunch of high speed but completely isolated terrestrial networks scattered around planet Earth. For example, countries like Australia would be as disconnected and isolated from the rest of the world as Antarctica is today. These unseen networks are deployed in the harshest environment on Earth, at the bottom of the ocean, and are vulnerable to faults even when heavily armored and buried. The majority of cable faults are caused by fishing trawlers, ship anchors, earthquakes, tsunamis, and typhoons. Network operators face three main challenges today in managing these submarine assets. One, rapidly and reliably scaling the total information carrying capability to maintain pace with accelerating bandwidth growth. Two, protecting multiple terabits of traffic from inevitable and ongoing cable faults. Three, lowering the total cost of network ownership to combat ongoing price erosion. Addressing these three seemingly opposing goals is a daunting task, but we have the solution. Sienna offers an architecture that marries the very best hardware, software, and services to create a truly unique end-to-end -end network solution that directly addresses these business challenges. We call it GeoMesh Extreme. Just a few years ago, Sienna unleashed its pioneering GeoMesh architecture, which changed how submarine networks were designed, deployed, operated, and monetized. This new architecture allowed submarine cable operators to design networks from pop to pop rather than beach to beach. We'd all love to work at the beach, but most of us do not. We work inland, which is also where our data resides. So terminating traffic at the beach doesn't make sense, in most cases. Sienna looked at the network holistically from end to end, over land and under sea, and developed a unique network architecture that changed the game. We united traditionally distinct submarine and terrestrial networks into a single, seamless entity offering previously unachievable benefits. GeoMesh is a fusion of two words. Geo refers to Earth because we view the service path from a global end-to-end -end network viewpoint, over land and under sea. Mesh refers to a network topology that provides the highest level of availability, so critical to today's multi-terabit cables. GeoMesh is a groundbreaking vision of the global network that's being taken to the extreme. Now let's talk about the building blocks of the GeoMesh Extreme network architecture. WaveLogic 5 is our latest generation of coherent optical technology that sets a new benchmark in network economics while offering unprecedented agility and scalability. This allows network operators to maintain pace with accelerating bandwidth demands over legacy cables, open cables, and spatial division multiplexing cables. WaveLogic 5 allows network operators to build an open and programmable network infrastructure over land and under sea. It's the foundation of our adaptive network vision, which combines programmable network infrastructure, analytics, and intelligence, as well as software control and automation. It's an architecture rooted in openness, scalability, and security that allows operators to live one step ahead of the demand so they're set up to successfully pivot in any circumstance. It allows operators to strive, not just survive. 
Santa's intelligent control plane allows multi-terabit submarine cables and bookended terrestrial backhaul networks to be meshed together over land and under sea to ensure the highest level of end-to-end -end protection and availability. There's no plan B for submarine networks, as there's simply no viable alternative technology capable of offering similar capacity, latency, reliability, or economics. Intelligent mesh networks empowered by analytics can autonomously reroute traffic around one or more network faults, such that end users always remain connected. We've also taken network monitoring to the extreme by adding integrated test set capabilities alongside streaming telemetry. Together, this allows network operators to listen to their entire end-to-end -end network on an ongoing basis in real time, all while in service. Gone are the days of external test sets being shipped around the world and all the challenges that this entails. Software-defined networking has come to submarine networks with GeoMesh Extreme, driven by analytics and machine learning. This allows network operators to convert oceans of streaming telemetry data into actionable insights, such as predictive failure analysis. Wouldn't it be nice to know that part of your network is about to fail before it occurs, allowing you to proactively address the problem and avoid a costly outage? After all, who better to know about the health of the network than the network itself? SDN allows for networks to self-diagnose, self-optimize, and self-heal. Terrestrial networks have steadily moved towards packet-based networks because of the many benefits they offer, such as statistical multiplexing, oversubscription, and economies of scale. These benefits are now included in GeoMesh Extreme, allowing submarine network operators to enjoy the same benefits of their terrestrial counterparts. By including packet switching, operators can seamlessly carry packet services from end users to data centers and everything in between. The distinction between submarine and terrestrial networks was blurred and even erased in some cases when GeoMesh was introduced a few years ago. We've taken this architecture to the extreme by adding a boatload of new features and capabilities that allows network operators to address business challenges and opportunities faced today as well as into the future. The best way for operators to optimize and monetize their network assets over land and under sea is to architect their networks from end to end as precisely what GeoMesh Extreme was designed to do from inception, which is to seamlessly unite submarine, terrestrial, and cloud networks. With GeoMesh Extreme protecting your network assets and the critical data carried, you can tolerate just about anything this world has to throw at you. It's even safe to release the Kraken.